Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Six Ashes. We are currently heading down to the fuel station because all of the transporting we did last time has kind of emptied our tractor out of fuel. So, uh, well, we're down to about a quarter of a tank. So I just want to fill up. Not going to cost us very much to do that. 51... Uh, 51 pound, uh, so not too bad. It seems we're doing a lot of stuff up here at the moment. Uh, makes sense for us to uh, to still be heading up here to refuel. Although at some point we're going to need to get probably a small fuel bowser or something down for our farm. Uh, so that we can uh, do stuff down there. Now today we've got a few things on our plate. Uh, summer is here, which is brilliant. Uh, there are a couple of things I need to cover because we were facing a lot of rain last time. Uh, first thing is that I had my number of days of seasons set wrong. Uh, so I had it set to nine days instead of six. I've now corrected that, but in getting us then to the first day of summer, to the proper day seven, uh, we, uh, we've, we've had to skip through a few days and it means that the weather has actually turned out a little bit more favorable to us which is great news because if we have a look here uh you can see that we've got some nice sunshine coming for the next couple of days in fact most of summer at the moment we've got sunshine so what i want to start with today uh is uh, actually renting a mower uh we're gonna go and uh, and get let's turn that off uh we're gonna go and rent a mower and now as per the rules of this, uh, the, the survival experiment, we can only rent modern equipment. And uh, I actually came a cropper on this last time and somebody pulled me up on it. So the other thing that's happened is this Vicon, which we leased last time, we now have bought. So we now own this rather than lease it. Uh, we switched it out and, uh, and because it's an older piece of kit, we cannot lease it. So, uh, yeah, that is that is now a bought piece of equipment. That also means that I can't go and lease either of these two, which are nice and cheap. Um, that coon is unfortunately too old for us to have as a lease. As much as I'd like to, uh, and it's eventually a piece of equipment I plan to buy, we're going to have to go with this one, the Pottinger Novacat 302ED. 60 horsepower requirement. We've got 70 on our tractor. That's good. £535 to lease it. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to lease this because we can't afford to buy it at the moment. Now, I'm hoping with all of this drying going on that uh, that our grass is actually going to naturally turn to hay, uh, which would be good news. Uh, yeah, very, very much want that to happen. So uh, that should hopefully happen over the next couple of days. This mower is going to look huge on the back of this tractor. Because this is such a little tractor. There we go. And let's fold it up. Yeah, look at this. How much taller than this tractor is this mower going to be? Wow. That is, uh, that is pretty huge. I'm glad I've got that front weight on here now. Because the, the rear weight on this is ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, that is, uh, that's a little bit hilarious. Uh, but this is going to be the right thing. We have got, yeah, we have got our beacon on. So we're going to get this back to the yard. Uh, we're then going to come back down here. We're going to get ourselves a water trailer because that's the only thing we still need for our horses. Uh, and, uh, and at the same time, we're going to make a trip over to the stables the other side of the road and, uh, and get a couple of horses to be delivered to us. I've had a look at the animal trailer, and the animal trailer is about, or the horse box, sorry, specifically, is about £800 to, for us to, to hire, to lease. Um, whereas to get two horses delivered, it will only cost us £600, uh, I think. So, uh, yeah, that is going to be the better way to go with that setup. Uh, lease a couple of horses, get them ridden properly, and, uh, and, and looked after properly, and that should make us a good amount of money. Because in order to cover the lease of our land and cover the lease of the equipment we've got, we need to be making two and a half thousand pounds per day. Shouldn't be too hard once we get into harvest and maybe doing some, uh, hopefully doing some work with uh, this. But yeah, we, we need two and a half to three thousand pounds per day 
uh, in order just to break even on a daily basis. So we've really got our work cut out for us now. Hopefully, though, our horses should offset that uh, if we're lucky. Uh, and then anything we do in contracts, we will make money with. Also, field 17 here is absolutely huge. This is going to take us a little while to get this cut. Uh, good thing we've got a bit of time and this is a nice early morning start that we've got here. So uh, we're going to go round the field this way first and then we'll get the headland afterwards. Turn it on, drop it down. And you can see the grass already is fairly... Uh, fairly dry, so that's good news. Uh, yeah, we can go around this field and uh, and get this cut, and all will be good. So we're about five rows into the field, and something strange has happened. Can you see that our grass has got wetter? So I'm going to lift this up, uh, and that is slightly annoying. Uh, because what's, what it means is uh, that the moisture in the air has gone up a little bit. Which is a little bit weird considering it's a good drying day. Uh, now I don't want to be cutting this. Um, we want this to naturally dry is the trouble. And if it's, uh, if it's not naturally drying, we're going to end up with an issue where, uh, well, we're going to have to ted it. Uh, it's 10 in the morning. I don't know if we're going to... We don't have. Thing is, I can't avoid, uh, can't afford a watcher at the moment. So we're going to have to wait and leave this until the uh, the wet crop icon disappears again. I think. So we'll fold this up and bring this in. It's not a problem that I've particularly come across before, and we've not got any rain happening. It's just the moisture in the air must have just increased to a level. That, uh, that means that the, the grass has got wet. Which is really weird. Uh, as I said, not come across that before. So we are going to leave this here and disconnect this. The other thing we've got. So we know we've got to pop down to the shop and get uh, a couple of bits and pieces. So let's unplug that. We need to lower the mower. Uh, right. So. And we're going to head down to the shop now. Uh, grab ourselves a water trailer. I mean, we'll have more than enough hay off that field uh, from this. It's a pity, though, because I was hoping to make a good amount of money. But we're going to take this tractor now and head down to the shop. Uh, get ourselves a little water trailer. And, uh, and then we're going to get our horses. Uh, and I've got a question for you when we get the horses. So, uh, yeah, hang about for that. And we will uh, we'll see where we go. So here we are back down at the shop and I'm looking at the, the amount of fuel we expended cutting that uh, that hay and just thinking yeah we're gonna we're gonna need a fuel trailer or something we, we're gonna need to earn some money today as well I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do that at the moment uh, I think we're gonna have to take on a contract we might take on a contract and not use this tractor for it it won't be great for us but, uh, yeah, it, it's probably a good idea. Uh, right, we want to look at the animals here. So the Joskin Aquatrans is out of our price range. We've only got 1,800. Uh, choices are basically this milk water tank here for 500 or this water trailer for 2,000. That is out of our price range right now. Uh, what we've got, yeah, is this one that holds 2,000 litres for... Uh, 500 pounds or this one that holds 2,000 liters for a thousand pounds uh, They both transport the same stuff. I think that this little water trailer here it will do us fine uh, We don't need much more than that. So uh, we will buy that that is only gonna cost us 500 perfect uh, And uh, and we'll hook up to the back of this absolutely fine uh, But just yeah just need that little bit. I think we have a water point down at our farm. So we'll go and find out that in a minute. And let's just reverse this up. And... Oh, no. That's not going to... This must hook up to this. Please let this hook up to this. Does this require a high hitch, this trailer? What am I missing?
Okay, I am missing something here. That trailer will not hitch to that. Which is a bit weird. Let's uh, let's try it on the front. Let's see if the, it's possible this tractor. Oh, this tractor doesn't even have a front hitch at the moment. Let's see. I don't think a weight. Uh, we could put a little weight, but it's going to be 650. So that's a bit weird. I don't know why this trailer will not hitch up to this. Uh, but I think we might immediately have to sell it. I think I think we'll leave it here for a minute. We'll head. I'll head back to the farm. I'll grab the weight on the back and see if that makes any difference. Uh, what I'm going to do now is head over to the animals, though over here. See if we can uh, head to the animal yard or the uh, yeah, over here. Uh, get some horses that we can then deal with. Um, but we do need to sort this water situation out because uh, otherwise we're going to have a problem. Alright, into here. Down here and round. Yeah, here we go. Here's our animal area. So as I said, I think it's about 300 each to transport these. Uh, yeah, and we've got, we've got several options here. Uh, We've got an And Andulzian, a paint, uh, a halflinger, a quarter horse, a thoroughbred, a black Arabian, a Tennessee walking horse, and a Morgan. And the thing we've got with these, all of these require different amounts of uh, different amounts of work and uh, different amounts of riding in order to make the most out of their money. So I want to get. Uh, Great Western doesn't really tell me in here. I'm pretty sure the Black Arabian, uh, you have to ride for the longest to get the most out of it. Uh, and I think racing and jumping a quarter horse. Quarter horse is strong as tucky with muscular development, fast for turning and stopping ability. I'm, I'm going to get a paint. I do like the paint. And I'm also going to get myself... A Black Arabian, I think. Which will take more riding, but should pay us off better. £600 for that. Confirm that. And that leaves us with 714 Yeah, I need to get back to the farm. I need to see if uh, we can hook this water trailer on. Because if we can't, we are going to have to have that £1,000... In order to uh, to get the other water trailer. So what I've decided to do. Is because we're not going to be using it for that long. I am going to test this. With a weight. Rather than spending all our time driving all the way back. We can get a very cheap weight for not a lot of money. With hopefully with a connector in it. So uh, yeah. I think this one here. The, uh, the 700 kilogram. We won't customize it or anything. We will just get this. If this works, we can get this back and just return this weight. So uh, we'll buy that for 650. Oh, we are so close to having no money. And hook this up. We are going to have to do a contract today, I think. And we're going to have to try and do one. If we can get a spreading one, we should be alright. But, of course, at the moment, we don't have any uh, we don't have money. But anyway, let's see if this hooks up. We really, really could do with this hooking up to this water tanker. Because otherwise, I don't know how we can connect this up. Yeah, that connects to the... Okay, that's good. I think we have one of these weights. But yeah, it won't connect to our trailer, interestingly enough. So we're going to have to connect it to, uh, to this each time. Uh, but we will just return this weight when we get back to the farm. Or maybe return our other one, because I don't think we overly need... We've got a thousand kilogram weight on our uh, back at our farm at the moment. I'm not sure we need that. Uh, and that would give us a little bit more money. Anyway, I'm going to get this back to the farm. We'll see if we can fill up from our water tank 
uh, and uh, and get our horses sorted. And oh yeah, the uh, grass has dried out a bit. You might remember earlier in this video, I asked you. Uh, I said there was something I wanted to ask you about the horses, and uh, and that is basically, what should we name them? What name should we give to our horses? Uh, they're both in there now. We've got our paint and our Arabian. I'm going to have to ride both of those a bit. But then we've got a nice field that we can ride them in. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to know what we should name them. Whether I should go for something like I did before. And name them after patrons and supporters. Or let us know if you have a particular name you think we should, uh, should give our horses. Let's see if this refills. Yes, it does. And it doesn't cost us money. Even better. Um... But yeah, what name should we give to our horses? Uh, let us know down below. We are going to get this little water tanker now into here. And then I'd really like to work out why it's not uh, why it's not collecting up. Water trough is over. This I oh know. Water trough is here. And what we can do is if we get this in the right... Ooh! Let's not hit the horses. Oh, this... The, the downsides to this is this is going to be a pain in the butt to reverse this tank. Oh, where are you going? Don't go there. That's where I'm driving. Okay. Yeah. An absolute pain to reverse this. Because it is a dolly trailer. It's a small dolly trailer. Perfect. Ooh. Okay. Easiest way in this game to reverse a dolly trailer is to be in cab and look backwards. And even then, this is a really fiddly dolly trailer. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get it far enough back and then just straighten it out. Right, there we go. And pull it forward a bit. There we go. Empty it out. And that will give our two horses a load of water. We'll then disconnect this off here. And I think, as I said, we'll keep this weight. And we will get rid of the... Uh, we'll get rid of the other weight. Give ourselves a little bit extra cash. We don't really need more than this weight on the back. So, uh, yeah, that will be good. Tell me my horse didn't escape while my gates were open. No, there it is. Right, and head back up this way. And then we can sort out, yeah, we've got our blue weight in there. So let's go and have a look at that in our garage. We'll get that returned. Oh, that one's one that straps down, but you can see it's, yeah. Sell that. Yes. Okay. So we might switch this one out for one that we can strap down in a bit. But uh, certainly that has worked. So we want to be back out here and grab our bale spike next. Now this did get, make our stuff go a little bit weird last time. And we have got, did we get, we got some oats as well. Yeah, we did. So we'll grab a hay bale. And hopefully that should feed our horses quite nicely. This little tractor is absolutely perfect for this farm. This is all we need right now. Just to squeeze it through here. Nice and small to do that. Close the gates behind us. Do we have gates into this field anywhere else? I'm not sure we do. 
No, it is just through the bottom there. So there's no other gate into this paddock. And that's good. How much we got left? Oh wow, they do not take much. That is uh, that is very good news. These this, the hay bales we've got, the field we've got of uh, of grass, that is going to last us a very very long time. If we get just a few hay bales uh, and uh, to feed our horses, that's two days worth of feed we've just put in there uh, of 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 just hay. Uh, we've got some oats as well that we're they're not going to take very much of. But we are very, very nicely set up for horses on here now. Now, something I was wondering last time was this here. Do I need to actually get... Do I need this... Uh, we've got that leased. And I think that's pretty much the only... The bale shredder is the only thing we have leased at the moment. So we can reduce our, our leasing cost if this goes straight in here let's see does it no it doesn't so we are gonna have to yeah we do need to put this into the uh, the bale shredder that's all right we have that here that's what we have it for what I quite like is there's the three-point hitch on the back of this oh that's so when we bend this too far over that's when everything goes to pop. Right, we need to put this down. Yeah. Oh, that's got it right. Good. Let's just bring this. See if we can knock that bale over. Yeah, there we go. Managed to correct it. Very ugly last time. There we go. So that is in there. We'll go and drop our weight and our bale spike off. And switch over. Yeah, it just... It went a little bit weird and wacky. If we can go and do a thousand pound contract uh, then we'll be good because we can just um, uh, we can use what we've got here to do it so down with that weight and off and then hook up our shredder to the back like so Really? Oh, and it's not reversible either. That is annoying. It's just the wrong way round. Yeah, that's very annoying. Hopefully we can get this in here. No? Is all connected up? Okay. Let's drive this in here, see if we can find where this goes. So I've looked around, and as far as I can see, it is here. But I can't tell you where. 
So I might have to ask GB about that. See if uh, see if I can work out what's going on. But yeah, I can't uh, I can't work that one out at the moment. So we'll just move this out the way so we can give them some oats as well. Ooh. Drop that down. Turn that off. Turn that off. And just go and grab ourselves bucket. Now I don't want a huge amount of oats here because uh, if I grab too many then we're not going to have uh, we're going to end up with just a pile. So let's go bring this into here and we'll just go 168 oats and see how far those go if they uh, if they don't take that many then uh, that would be grand how much uh, just looking at our horses yeah they don't they don't require a lot of feed a year I'll be surprised if they take this much if they if they uh, if they do take more than this then what we'll be able to do from or to able to tell from that is exactly how much they do take Okay, they have taken all of that. Oh, wow. It's about 200 litres. So that will do us for now. Let's get this back out here. And I want to go and finish off doing that. Uh, doing the mowing. So we'll drop our bucket off. And, uh, and yeah, we'll go cut the rest of that. I wonder if that line that we cut that was wet has dried out will be an interesting thing to see. But that... I'll just hook this up. And as I said, I need... I really, really need... to get a contract done today. Because we do not have an awful lot of money. We will make money uh, selling these. But uh, yeah, at the moment we don't have a huge amount. So, uh, we've spent everything, and I don't want to go into the red if I can avoid it. I've made it round the field once, and then realised I've not got enough fuel to do this. So, we're going to turn this off. We're going to fold this up, and uh, I'm not going to disconnect it. We are going to head south of here, because there's some fuel down at the other farm, I think. And we're really going to have to do something about this because this tractor is just drinking fuel. Uh, so for us to get any work done, we're very, very much going to have to uh, to get a fuel solution to the farm. Whether that means we put in a fuel tank ourselves or uh, or just get a little fuel bowser is going to be telling. But we do need... It's a little bit closer than I'd have liked. So we're down at the cow farm, and this is our closest fuel source. And it should be around the side here. There we go. Uh-oh. That is a fillable tank. Right, I have got to head up to the... Um, I'm going to have to head all the way up to the fuel station to get this tractor refueled. Bummer. When I was saying this tractor is drinking fuel, I meant it. We are properly redlining this at the moment. Having come all the way over here, we... I would be surprised if we'd conked out at this point here. It is right on the line. Uh... Another 50... Oh, 70. Wow. Right on the line. 72 pounds worth of fuel. Man. And it takes such a while to get up here. I think a high priority uh, going forward is absolutely going to be uh, getting this... Uh, getting a fuel bowser back and, uh, and getting that done so that we have something at our farm that we can do. Either installing something 
but I think actually there's a there's a nice big fuel barrel. We used it on the valley of the old farm, uh, and uh, and yeah, it's two thousand pounds to buy it. I think that is going to be a top priority. We'll see how well we do with our horses uh, after this episode, which we've got to. We, we, I want to get this hay cut, and I want to get our horses ridden, uh, and then uh, yeah, we'll be all good, and hopefully be uh, set for the next day. So back to our field, and uh, yeah, it is now quarter to five in the afternoon. One of the advantages of summer, of course, is that it's um, it stays late. Uh, it stays lighter until later, so we should get all of this cut uh, before dusk settles and hopefully uh, worst case is that we'll get a twilight ride with our horses uh, but yeah we need to look after them we need to make sure they're properly exercised they're probably fed it is just now making sure that they are properly exercised and seeing uh, yeah we're gonna have to work out how we can sort out uh, the straw situation with them as well Nearly three hours later and over half a tank of fuel and uh, yeah, we've almost got this field done. It is uh, getting very, very small now uh, what we've got left to cut. But this is all done and apart from that strip of, uh, of wet grass we've got over there, the rest of this is all dry grass. Should all, um, should all dry to... Uh, She'll ride to hay fairly easily in the next sort of 24, 48 hours, which is great. Uh, what we need to do now, the last thing we need to do on here today, we'll turn this off, turn that, and uh, all good. Wow, we've got our Ford dirty from this. And yeah, less than, uh, less than half of a tank of fuel left after that. Uh, what we're going to do, actually, is I'm going to return this. We have no need for that mower. And I want to return it before... Uh, oh, 0.8 of an hour. So, yeah, we want to return this. It's going to cost us otherwise. So, uh, there we go. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Uh, we just park this back in here. Because as I said, the only thing we've got left to do today is to go and get our horses ridden. So let's close up our shed. And I'm going to probably jump the fence. We'll take the paint for a ride first. And we'll see how long this takes. So yeah, it's uh, fitness is, is okay. Uh, we are going to go and give it a ride around our hayfield here. And, uh, and see how it does and see how long it takes. Coming up to 100% on this. So five minutes riding uh, on this horse has done it well. And uh, fitness hasn't gone up, but hopefully that will over time. But that is, uh, yeah, a good bit of uh, riding has done as well. Uh, let me just work it back. And then we've got uh, our other one to do as well. Yeah, that one's back, so we'll uh, we'll ride this one now, and then we'll need to clean them both down once we've done this. So we're going to do the same thing here. Just going to take him around the field. Wait, don't you return? There we go. Right. Ooh. Impressive horse. This is a stallion. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, away we ride. Already, we're at 10%. There we go. That's our second horse coming up to uh, being ridden. We'll let him cool down a little bit as we uh, head back to the stables. But, yeah. 20 to 10 at night and we finally finished uh, doing both the horses and this is why there we go uh, this is why we can't actually 
We need to clean these horses. Alright. And you clean? Clean them both down. How are you doing? Uh, yep, yeah, you're clean. Good. Uh, clean the other one. I'm not calling them by their names because obviously I want you guys to make suggestions. So please do in the comments. I think that one's clean as well. Yep, yeah, so that's got them all done. Are you going to stand there? No, you're not going to stand there. Right, so we're going to leave this here. Uh, which means that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.